Big one. Net? Yes, net. Dude, I turned the camera on just before that, and I knew something was coming. Dude, that's nuts. I can't believe that. What's going on guys, Bassin and Up Mafia here coming at you with a new video for this week. In this week's video, I'm gonna show you some uh, tactics to fine tune the rattle trap and the swim jig. I'm gonna go over how I use it a little bit and some great ways to use it to get some more reaction strikes out of fish and just to get the fish to bite in general with them. I'm gonna also show you some better things to target with throwing them and me and my buddy Hunter are going out in this video. We first start out at this trout pond. We actually originally wanted to catch some trout, but still a little too hot for them and couldn't catch any of them and ended up catching a bunch of bass and a bunch of dinks. And then we finished the day off at uh, Cadoris on the boat. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, but stay tuned because this one's going to be a good one and a funny one because right off the bat, this video starts out hilarious. So make sure you stay tuned till the end and here you go. So right off the <laughs> bat here, Hunter catches uh, four fish. Evidently well, I not. I didn't get the camera on. And I lost a dink right there. As soon as I went to turn the camera on, he freaking got off. So I'm targeting the edges of the bank here. A lot of times early in the morning like this in ponds, the bass will be up real shallow along the shorelines, feeding on like the little minnows and stuff. So I'm hitting the edges of the bank. And I'm also casting out in. <laughs> yeah. I think I still have the picture of that. Pretty sure. Hunter's talking about a big old trout that he caught last time we were here. It's a big, like, uh, 26 inch rainbow. It weighed like six pounds. Now I'm getting in a little bit of grass there and I'm ripping it through. Or I thought it was a little bit of grass. <laughs> it really wasn't. I thought it was a fish then too, after, but it was his fishing rod. <laughs> Is that your rod? Yeah. I think I got it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I thought there was a f fish and I go to set the hook and I heard your rod jerk off and I'm like, uh oh, I don't think that was a fish. Real good choice of words there, bud. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> Yeah, this little flimsy thing. <laughs> what the f Got a giant! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, fish. Wait. Uh oh. <laughs> You're like, what the f? <laughs> I was like, I just looked at it. Giant pulled your rod in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was like, dude, I literally just looked at it. And it was <laughs> I looked back and it's like, in the water. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, Jen. <laughs> well, I guess it won't be the first and last rod I ever lose. <laughs> <laughs> Never a dog over. <laughs> Never. <laughs> it's not in the water anymore. You don't have to yank it. <laughs> Here I'm targeting the banks again. More targeting the banks. And I throw it out. Hey, look at that deer over there. <laughs> now I think I'm messing with Hunter with this fake deer. On the other side of the tree. Yeah. 
<laughs> He's like <laughs> the fake one. <laughs> I didn't fool him. I looked up and for like a split second I was like, oh, oh, wait. There I felt a little bit of grass and I ripped it through it real quick. There's one. Don't hook me. 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 Chill out, bro. Just chill out a little bit. There we go. First little guy off the rattle trap. Set him back. So a lot of times ripping the rattle trap through the grass is real key at getting some reactions out of fish. So if you do feel a little bit of grass, just rip the rattle trap through it a little bit. Sometimes it really helps you get a bite. There's another heck of a hit. Damn. I had a hell of a hit. Missed whatever the heck it was though. I'm also just keeping a nice steady pace on the round trap. <laughs> Here targeting the bank again, hitting it along the side, hitting it out along the middle. Jesus! Now Hunter catches another one. This is his fifth fish now. And of course... What's that, number five? He's across the pond, so I can't get any of them on film. But either way, he still was kicking my butt at this point. <laughs> right there, he just said my name's Hunter, but my middle name is also Fisher. And it actually is, isn't it? <laughs> Hitting it along the bank here. Again. And bam. There was one, finally. Ouch. Stop. There he goes, another little guy. Here I'm pulling it out of the grass a little bit, also hitting stuff on the bottom. Uh, that time also makes the uh, fish react to it like that. Just like this one did. Just a little guy, but big fish also react the same way. Uh, not gonna have any problem getting a big fish to do the same thing. I'm catching up. Oh! <laughs> of course I lose this one. Never mind. Now I switch it up, throw a little trout spinner. Because the trout spinner is what Hunter was catching all his little guys on. <laughs> I don't stay away from it. <laughs> Who does that? Like <laughs> Sets the hook and drifts to a rock, flat off the bench, in the water. 
Like I know I'm feeding you and everything. Special people. <laughs> Alright, let's go get the bait. We're going to Marburg. 30 pound challenge. I don't know if we're catching no 30 pounds right now. Is it bad? It's tough. It was out Thursday, I didn't catch Huh? It was out Thursday, I didn't catch but one. Really? Let's go musky fishing. That might be decent. Oh, all I. Or striper. Striper? There's striper in there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. They stocked them four years ago. What, like hybrids and stuff? No, purebred. They're right around 30 inches right now. Let's go get the boat. I can tell it. We could if we really wanted. I'm down. Let's go make a YouTube video. <laughs> Hunting Virginia outdoors and passing it up with Mothra. <laughs> these trout. Yeah, they suck right now. They're not eating shit. Bass are eating that crazy. Yeah, I was gonna say, you go, you go to a trout pod and catch bass. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Now here we are at the lake flipping some docks. I flip it and skip it up right in next to the dock. Now I'm throwing it out here alongside of it. It's always good to target both because <laughs> fish can be on both. And a lot of times if you're throwing out along the side of the dock, the fish will react to it and can see it swimming longer. Now we're at the bridge here, casting along the pylons, casting it out along the middle, letting it sink all the way. I let my jig fall in slack line because a lot of times you can actually get them to uh, bite it on the way down and on the fall so I let it fall in slack line and if there's a lot of tension there when I go to reel up on it then generally it's usually a fish so you want to set the hook and fight someone buddy but uh, this part's crazy right before I uh, do this I'm thinking to myself you know I should probably turn my camera on. I think I might get a fish on this cast. And you'll see in a couple of seconds here, uh, I'll go to reach for my camera and turn it on. It's just is nuts. I, I can't believe how it happened. I'm just straight by the pylon. It's probably one of the coolest things so far that I've had to happen while filming. I'm just reeling this swim jig real slow along the bottom. Bouncing it off the pylon, bouncing it off the rocks on the bottom. Anything, any kind of structure that's down there, you wanna bounce it just enough above it and make it tick off of it because that's what makes them react to it better. 90% of the time, this is how I catch my swim jig fish. Not reeling it real fast, not ripping it, not popping it up and down. Most of the time it's just reeling it real slow along the bottom, bouncing off of stuff. Like this one. Big one. Huh? Yes, net. Dude, I turned the camera on just before that, and I knew something was coming. Dude, that's nuts. I can't believe that. And it's not as big as I thought it was, but still a four pounder. Nice, dude. There's the easy four pounder, guys. Look at that one. Check him out. I 
can't believe how that happened, dude. I'm sitting there, I cast it in there, and I'm like, I'm gonna get one on this one. I'm like, I'm gonna turn my freaking camera on real quick, just in case something happens. Was that on Jake? Yeah, it's on Jake. Is it hard or do you Oh, dude, he freaking trucked it. Trucked it. I'm sitting there, and I feel this. Wham! I'm like, oh, big one. That's why I thought it was huge. And the way you bent my rod at first, it felt like a six pounder. Yeah. Well, I heard you can't there, <laughs> I can't believe that right before. Yeah, I heard the camera turn on. Like, okay. Hey, big one. It was a cool stuff. That was awesome. What's up guys? We just got our pizza. We got some pizza from Sal's. We got a two liter of colas. Lighter of cola. <laughs> Liters. And uh I'm gonna get refueled here and then get back after him. We'll catch back up with you when we get back out there. But we didn't end up catching any more fish, so here's the end of the day. It was a tough day out there. Yeah, buddy. Put him back. guys that's going to conclude this one that was a fun day fishing with hunter i hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys were able to find some of these tips helpful and hopefully it can help you go out there and catch some nice fish of your own here soon but uh either way make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you did enjoy it and stay tuned till the next one because we're going to keep coming at you every thursday see you guys